Hi people, this is Nettie again. Okay, I decided to cut this one because as you can see down there, nothing is happening down there. So that means it is too weak to be giving out seeds. This one is going to get cut down so it could um, grow. I'll be putting some vitamins on there and some fresh water. Oops, sorry. <laughs> some vitamins and some fresh water. Okay, let's take this one out. Uh, I didn't bring my box out here, but I'll take it out. The next one I'm going to cut. These are, I noticed that these, they are the recao. You know, they're like weaker than the culantro. As you can see, the culantro still have lots of leaves. I just took two biggies from here. And it's, it has this, um, this one I just cut it not long ago. This one right here. And, um, I call it, and it has lots of leaves. That was last week. This one, um, also has its, um, seeds. Oops, let me see, seeds, as you can see. And it also has lots of leaves. So, I don't see that the culantro is having any problem. But I do see that the recao is having problems. They're cousins. This one, like I told you from the very beginning, I noticed it's more weaker, more smaller, more petite. So maybe that's why they could grow one time, but they cannot grow two times. So I'm going to be cutting these. This, which one was that? I cut that one already. And I'm going to cut that one because they gave the second one. And even though it's throwing leaves, it's very slow. That one, this one over here, is not throwing leaves. So I'm going to cut those. Oh, let me see if I could get mine. Okay. I'm going to cut those. This one is starting to th show leaves. You know. But I'm still going to cut it. Now, these over here, I'm not going to cut it. Because you can see, it still has leaves growing. You know, both of these. This one and this one is healthy. It has leaves and everything. And it's growing. I don't need a major leaf patch. Because um, this is, it depends what we're going to cook. So we use it. You know, right here, this one is throwing. Uh, let me see if I, ah, I can't see. Okay, this one. Let me see if I see my hand. Okay, this one is throwing also the second one out. I'll see how he it behaves. If it doesn't, if it gets weak, I'll cut it off also. So these two are going to stay. These two. Where's my hand? Where's my hand? Right there. These two are going to stay, and this area here of um, culantro is going to stay also. They're looking beautiful. I just took a whole bunch of, um, I'm making um, stew chicken. So we got enough of um, this, and they'll be growing. So they, they're not giving me problems. The ones that are giving me problems is the recao. So I'm just cutting those two out. This one, I'm going to leave it. Because I notice it's still throwing out leaves. So I'm going to leave it alone. But the rest, they're going to stay there until they get big. Because <laughs> these don't give no problem. So let's show you another thing. And I'll pick that up later on. Okay, I'm having problems with my orchid. As you can see, one is going one way, the other one is going another way. Let, I want to see if I could just tie them up. And maybe little by little they will straighten out. I don't know. This is one of the old plants. You know, it wasn't the one that my husband gave me the other time. This is the old type old plant. And it just, you know, I, I don't really watch them. You know, so it's very hard to watch every single plant you have. So I just let it be and they just grew like this. But there's a way to fix it up. You see right now. Let me see if I can put it here. Here you can see it. Okay. There you go. <laughs> so now, what I'm going to do, I think, hope it works, because then I'm going to have to stop the video and, how you call it, <laughs> and tell the guy, everybody, nope, it didn't work, so I can't do it. <laughs> well, it's not working. Wait a minute. Okay, let's try another way. All the way up here. Where this don't slip all over the place. Okay. Let's try it this way. Can you still see? Okay. 
then I'm just going to push it in and I think I got it I don't know because it's hard to mess with this thing but I don't want to put a metal type of thing because um how you call it okay okay let's see if this works for a while it's not the greatest thing but let's see if it works um maybe I should lose it a little bit I don't know if anybody has an idea how I could do this I want to get that lump that it has here because then it's going to turn all lopsided let me see if I could push it in okay like that there it goes okay so this I'm going to have to pull this one first then pull this one as it grows but uh, as you can see the dirt is kind of dry I left it dry too much and I have um, peppers there I hope they grow I'm going to be just watering and I want you to see something look how beautiful my papaya is it's beautiful I got papaya there and I have here um, how you call it uh, sour sap so everything is going perfectly I also want to show you one last thing hold on um, I'm planning to take out this canister the canister is broken it is all broken on the other side that's why I have the metal thing on top of it the the glass fiberglass on the top to put my plant I have craters in the bedroom they're full of my daughter's books I already told her she gotta check to see which book she wants and take it home or they're going in the garbage as <laughs> simple as that because I'm gonna I'm gonna use the craters to put this maybe it'll grow between the holes of the crater it will look beautiful you know so um, later when I came out I got scared because I saw something move there and we just killed the rodent you know it was a big big thick one so we got him pretty f easy you know we got him real fast um, he fell on the trap and as you know he's bye bye he did suffer a lot though because they got him right in the neck so it was instant stuff and we throw everything out so um, how you call it here I want to do something in this area right here like put um wood you know like stands you know maybe metal wood metal stands it would look great and then I could put more plants in the top than in the bottom so but we still have to finish because we haven't finished the windows you know and how you call it and we have to finish the floor and we have to finish painting the rails so um, a lot of people tell me how come you don't paint it black I'm gonna show you why if you see here I don't know if you can see it this is the color of the rail so if I put some other color especially white this thing will look awful from far away you can see that it is um, peeled off so I'm just gonna paint it the same color the brown you know um, but I want to take this out this color this brown I don't like it so I don't know probably I put a black thing there or something I don't know so anyway this is gonna be the last thing but can anybody tell me if this is done I don't think so because I see this nice um, leave it still you know alive so I, I don't know how long I've had it I gotta check out when I started to put this because I want to see if it has potatoes and if I did it. if it doesn't work I guess I'm not gonna do potatoes anymore because potatoes is virtually not that um, expensive here you know so I don't want to be just going through troubles and troubles trying to make them when they're not growing so I guess this is gonna be my last time if it doesn't work so saying that God bless you all until next time bye bye